President-elect Joe Biden on Friday described President Donald Trump as the most incompetent president in the history of the United States of America. However, the president-elect speech on Friday night strongly indicated he does not back moves to impeach Trump. He said the quickest way to get the outgoing president out of office is through the transition in two weeks. He is the most incompetent president in the history of the United States, Biden said while addressing the press at his hometown of Wellington on Friday night. He said the quickest way that we happen is for us being sworn in is us being sworn in on the 20th what actually happens before or after that is a judgment for the congress to make but that is what i am looking forward to him leaving office the move to impeach trump has intensified at the congress as democratic leaders in the house commence the process to get him ousted for the second time in his presidency. Trump on Wednesday incited his supporters to launch a deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. And Friday's press conference was Biden's first official reaction to the talk of impeaching Trump. We said we are going to do our job and Congress can decide how to proceed. The idea that I think he shouldn't be out of office yesterday is not an issue. The question is what happens with 14 days to go, 13 days left to go, Biden asked. Biden asked, rather. Mm. Well, I don't think a lot of people have said that it is not to be po- it's not going to be possible. It's not going to be possible. They say, oh, they say, rather the section of Article 25 or so. But in my opinion, of course, they just have to check him very well because the way the way the man talks, sir, you can't even predict him again. You can't even predict him. But ordinarily, one would have said, of what use is it for them to impeach him? Maybe it might take a long process, but if they have other ways ways of doing that, fine. But in my opinion, and just like a what say Biden has said, that it does not matter. It doesn't matter that in two weeks' time everything will be uh, put behind behind them. So if they have a means to do that, which it might be difficult, I don't think I don't think they have that uh, that uh, that legion. You know, all of them that were shouting, they were they were supporting most of all these Republicans. You can imagine if something else had happened more than that. <laughs> if something else would have happened more than that, for without with what happened that day, and these people were able to gain access to that, and they were able to hold on to all those uh, some of them, because he said, "Let us go in. I will walk down with you." We are going to cheer some people, but some people we might not be able to cheer. What does that tell you? All those people who were hungry. So if they had laid hand on one of those uh, supporters of uh, from the Republicans in the House that day, what do you think would have happened? All of them that are making my peer peer we don't agree. You know, it would have been a different thing. It would have been a different thing because I'm sure those people, of course, they are uh, the the party members. Some of the lawmakers they will not they will want to support him. It's their party. They want to support him. But they didn't know that it will go. It will get to that extent. It will get to that extent. And of course, now you can't deny it. You know, if it is Nigeria now, they will tell you, "Oh, it was quoted out of context. Oh, it was doctored. It was doctored. Oh, he didn't say. He didn't say so." And immediately when it happened that day, he did not condemn it. He was even cheering them up. He said, "Lovely people, this and that." And some people are telling us that uh, uh, those people were not his supporters. Those people were not his supporters. Ah, some people they can lie. That those people were not his supporters. So they were not his supporters, but he was encouraging them to go inside the this thing. Huh. Well, well, life in these days. Eh? So I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think it is even necessary. But the only thing is that everybody is afraid because anything can happen. Because nobody thought or envisaged that what happened that day on the sixth could happen. So they were like, ah, no, he can't do that. He can't do that. They didn't even know that he was going to be going through all this. Some people say, hey, it's uh, because of, uh, do you think you just, for you to have, have accept the fraud? I don't understand the fraud, the fraud, the fraud. They've counted and recounted, they counted and recounted. Uh, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really understand. Well, that is just what uh, Joe Biden has said. That he does not believe in that uh, his impeachment. <laughs> well, I pray that your tenor will be a blessing to me. And my family and Nigeria as a whole, you have displayed maturity and good governance to the world. God will lead you through. 
you know, those who are claiming they are Christians, they are this, they are that, they are that. He does not have character. That man doesn't have character. But the ones that are that that are, that are devil, see the way they are conducting themselves. Then who is now? Who is who is who now? That is the question. I, I don't know. People just be supporting anything because you just believe and you don't even have time to even reason. Just look at things holistically. Look at things holistically. Look at things from a different perspective, not just a one-way thinking. Not just a one-way thinking. Why? Why are people doing like this? Huh. And they are capitalizing. And the more if you can somebody say, Oh, he's not a he's not a he's not a politician, he's, he's, he does not need to be diplomatic. Really? Even in your family, you are need you need to apply diplomacy. Because the way things just happen, if you just be reacting like that, you think uh, you think the house will not contain everybody, both the wife and the children and the husband. Things will not even your children, you are dealing with your children. There are times you just have to be, be diplomatic. No, they say no, no, no. He cannot be diplomatic. He's not a politician that lies. What are you talking about? Those politicians that do lie, at the end of the day, their lies will be still be exposed. That is not what we are talking. Nobody is saying that anybody should lie. But there's a way you conduct yourself, there's a way you go about things maturely. So it is not even by age. This wisdom and, and this sense, it is not by age. It's not by age. There are some things that you you can be on your right, doing the right thing. But the, your approach, your approach might scatter a lot of things. And that is exactly what has what has caused him this arrogance, attitude. He does not have attitude, does it? He doesn't have attitude. He talks to people anyhow. And see where it has landed now. I can nami, 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 nami. See the way it is now. It's unfortunate, but I hope other people will learn. No, this is not a rule made. Lie, lie. Well, difference between selfless and selfish. His tenure is almost over. He should be given the chance to finish his term and probably face his actions according to their laws and constitution. Okay. Uh, triumph should, uh, Trump should step down. Wise words. This is wisdom, you know. Wisdom personified. Wahala, world leader Trump accept the election result. Bros, you won na inherit White House. You for quick reply or say na your papa built White House with the impersonal money. Hmm, bros, leave. I ride see George Joe Biden for next for next level. Thank you. I thought it's only Afri in Africa that presidents refuse to vacate office when he lost election. Maybe Trump has a our roots. This is a good one. Good, okay. Joe, the good example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if he's a bad person, but somebody who does not apply wisdom, see where it has it has landed him. No wisdom. All of you that are saying Trump, Trump, he does not have sense. He doesn't have sense, and you people cannot even advise him. There are ways to go about this thing. Not be all this gra 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 gra. The worst part of it is that many lives have gone because of this. And he still continue to, to gather crowd. Gather crowd with this pandemic. Those people don't even love themselves. I'm sure they don't even love themselves. They don't love themselves. So, you know, things happen differently in different places. And it has made us to know the kind of people, the way that these people, because the arrogance, and that is most of the thing with all these, uh, these people, the arrogance and the way they have put themselves. But now, see everything now, that they are just trying to cover a lot of things, even as Americans. They are just trying to cover a lot of things. You know, when you see some people that are, you no, know, in Nigeria now, they call it bribe, even with that, they say, you, you still go and vote for them. You still go and vote for them. These are the people destroying your lives. It's the same thing. You can see the COVID-19 that is just ravaging everywhere. When people are supposed to sit down together, go and check all those, uh, go and check all those crowd. Majority of them were not on mask, on face mask. And they were still there. The mask, they deceived them. They were still going there. So, it does not it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. And it says the same thing. What applies here? Human beings are always human beings. What applies here that you will react to is going to be different from another place. But at the end of the day, everybody is still being you know, you are still re re reacting and relating and expressing yourself as human beings. So all human beings are the same. What plays out over there, you can see how they have played into the hands of, of a woman and what happens in Nigeria. You see how people see play into the hands of a uh, politician. So that is just the way it is. Everybody must really learn a lot from this. It is not by, oh, because they are this. It is the enforcement of the law that is making, that is compelling people. And the people who are, 
even who are the uh, policy makers, they themselves, they don't, they, they, when they commit such offense, they will go in for it. But the difference in our own is that the so-called policy makers, they do otherwise. The, the laws they make are just for you. Are just for you. So that is just the difference. So if those uh, uh, Americans, if they find them, their situation or themselves in our situation, they will even behave worse. They will behave worse. So guys, let's share your opinion in the comment section.